Flames. What a book. It's actually a very interesting book, which I thoroughly recommend. It's three books in one, and it's about Freemasonry, and one Freemason in particular, in America in the 19th century. That, of course, was a horrendous time for America with the Civil War and various other things going on. But it was also a bad time for masonry, particularly in New York. There were so many grand lodges in the town and in the state, more than 15, that no one knew who was quite in charge. Because of the War of Independence, the Charleston Supreme Council of the Scottish Rite decided that it was inappropriate for them to try to run all of the state's Scottish Rite lodges, and they recommended there should be one in the north. Well, in fact, within a decade, two were formed in the north, both consecrated and dedicated by Scottish Rite Masons who didn't have the right to either consecrate or dedicate them. So consequently, there was a problem. Also in 1826, another thing happened. A very, very ardent Freemason called Hans Graham came over from Denmark with what he called important information on Freemasonry. He communicated this to his friend, who was another ardent Freemason, called Robert Folger, who is the hero of this book. A rather flawed book, I might add. The second part of the book actually goes into the detail of how the code was broken. And it's fascinating, absolutely fascinating. I can thoroughly recommend it. I'm not usually a great enthusiast of Masonic history. It's rather dull and turgid in most books. This is a page turn. Brought to you by Brighton Video Productions.